Welcome to Bible Block Stories with Auntie Jen. I'm Auntie Jen, and today's story is actually one of Jesus' stories called a parable. Jesus told parables to help explain things and ideas to people. And today's story is called the Parable of the Talents. It's based on Matthew 25, 14 through 30. Let's take a look and see how Jesus' story goes. Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives answering questions from his disciples. When they asked him about his coming kingdom of heaven, this is one of the stories Jesus told them. There was a wealthy man who was going to leave on a long journey. So he called in three of his servants to take care of his wealth while he was away. He knew his servants well, so he gave them different amounts to care for based on their abilities. To the first servant, he gave five talents of money. To the next servant, he gave two talents of money. And to the third servant, he gave one talent of his money. And then he left on his trip. While the man was away, the first servant took his five talents and went to the market to buy and trade. And eventually, he made five more talents than he started with and ended with a total of ten. The second servant did the same thing, going to the market to buy and sell and trade. And he also doubled the money he had care of and ended up with a total of four when he started with two. But the third servant was afraid of losing the one talent he had, so he went to a field and dug a hole in the ground and hid the talent to keep it safe. Eventually, the wealthy man came back from his travels, and he called the servants back to see how well they had cared for his money. The first servant came in with his ten talents of money and said, You gave me five talents, and I earned five more. Well, the man was very pleased, and he said, Great job! You are a good and faithful servant. Since you did such a great job with just a little, I'm going to put you in charge of even more. Come and work by my side. Then the second servant came with his four talents of money and said, You gave me two talents, and I was able to earn two more for a total of four. Again the man was pleased and said, Great work! You are also a good and faithful servant. I would also like to put you in charge of even more than the little I gave you before. Come and work by my side also. And then the third servant came in. He held out his one talent and said, My master, I was afraid of you because you are a shrewd and ruthless businessman, gathering from businesses that you didn't even invest in. So I buried the money to make sure it stayed safe. Here it is, nice and safe. But this time the man was not happy at all. He said, You lazy, worthless servant! If you knew that I was such a shrewd businessman, why didn't you at least leave the money with bankers so I would earn interest? And he took the one talent of money and gave it to the first servant with his ten. He said, Those who have will be given even more, but those that don't have will have what little they do have taken away. And then he had the servant thrown outside to live with his own sorrow and anger. And that's where Jesus' story ends. Was it a warning for us about being ready for when our master, the Lord, returns? In Jesus' time, a talent was a measure of money. Today, we use the term talent to mean more like skills or abilities, right? But either way, whether it's skills or money, we can use what God has given us for his work and make it grow and improve. Do you have a talent? Maybe you're good at playing music. Maybe you're good at drawing or painting. Maybe you're good at playing sports. Maybe you're good at taking pictures or shooting videos. Maybe you're good at building things. Maybe you're good at telling stories. Maybe you're good at just helping people. Or maybe you have lots of money. Whatever it is, 
How can you make more of that talent for Jesus? Let's pray about it. Dear God, thank you for trusting us with abilities or money to help you. Please help us to do our best to grow those things for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. And don't forget that you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for behind the scenes details and upcoming uh, information and what's going to be coming on the channel. I'll see you next time.